welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys we'll be doing my afcon reaction to both games here so we're gonna start with the first game we got here is angola 3 nibio uno shout out to angola angola for me man or the real deal this is a team that you can't underestimate leading up to the knockout stage and this team is for real and shout out to them and for nibia man it was tough it was tough and i think for me, that first half really destroyed the team mentally because it's going to be an uphill task to go up against Angola. Because once you concede against Angola, it's it's really bad. Because Angola is a team that goes on a rampage. Um, And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with the, the first big moment of the game. Let's talk about that red card from Nablu, the goalkeeper. See, I understand why he did the red card. Because obviously, it was a dangerous situation. And who knows? If he didn't make that challenge... Maybe Nanibia would have scored. And Nanibia score? Oh, it's a completely different game. It's a completely different game. They would have extreme they would have parked the bus and it's a different game. But here's the thing though. As much as you consider that, you also put your risk of missing this game and you miss the next game. You miss you're gonna miss a game against either Nigeria or Cameroon if you win this game, of course. So you're putting yourself in a lot of pressure. So Angola, red card was it. Right decision. It was definitely the right decision. Then my man, um, um, Gelson. What an assist from Freddie. Freddie has been unbelievable in this tournament. One of the best players in the group stage. Brilliant pass to Gelson. Um, the keeper maybe could have done better there, Kazapu. Um, you know, he uh, was trying to, um, you know, they, they played it so well, the great football, that um, it just, it just it, you know, just got beat. You know, Gelson scored. And then the second goal, man. What a header that is. Dali Gelson. Great, great goal. Set piece there. I believe it was a header, right? Let me check. Was it a header? Yeah, yeah. It was a header. It was a header. Gelson again. And then that red card, man. Very, very stupid decision from ha Hakungo. Um, making this, making it a very, very clumsy, clumsy foul. Very unnecessary. And it's a bad foul. And it's a second yell and rightfully gets sent off. Uh, then in the second half, man, they continue to pepper the goal, pepper the goal. And Mavalu says, you know what? I'm going to score one of the best goals of group stage. Just look at the goal he scored, guys. He did it on his right foot. Corley didn't end. And it's like fantastic. Mavalu is just that fantastic goal scorer. And I think for Angola, man. They routinely win this game 3-0, even without a man, even with their second-choice goalkeeper. This is unbelievable. You have to give credit to Pedro Gonzalez, who's done a fantastic job with this team. And this is a team that's very much Portuguese. Uh, a lot of the players have Portuguese um, um, anxious, uh, Portuguese connections, which is pretty awesome. So, shout-out to Angola, man. And Freddy, man, what a performance from him. Obviously, he was fantastic. And for Nindibia, man, hey, they made the round of 16. They made the round of 60, which I believe is the best best they've ever done in history. And I, this might be the farthest an Angola's ever reached in the AFCON. I don't really know this at the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. But I believe this is the best that Angola has done, reaching the quarterfinals of the AFCON in the year 2024. And who knows, guys? This team might go on to win this. This team might go on to win this tournament, guys. I wouldn't be surprised, given how this AFCON's been going. So, shout out to Angola, man. For Nibia, man, it was a tough, tough loss. And, yeah, this Angola team, man, look up for this team, man, because this team is so solid defensively, and they're scoring a lot of goals. This is a team to watch out for. Nigeria, be aware. And we'll get to Nigeria, man. Nigeria 2, Cameroon nil. Nigeria, Cam let me just start with saying this right now. Cameroon is an absolute, absolute disgrace. This team, Rigor Song has built has been a shambles. And let me just show you the stats right here. Okay, yes, you had more possession. 58% possession. Great job, great job. Look at the amount of shots on target. Zero shots on target. Zero shots on target. Six shots, zero on target. 0 0.26 XG. If you're Cameroonian, you must be thinking yourself that the referee just allowed that first goal. Because had that goal stood, this could have been a humiliation. This could have been three. This could have been four. Because Nigeria were so good in the day. Nigeria were so amazing in the day. We'll, we'll get to Nigeria in a bit. And I understand Cameron. I understand Vincent Abacuari is in full league. I understand. I understand Rio song. But surely, after that first half, you're thinking to yourself, okay, we need to turn this around. We need to try to win this game. Bring him on at halftime. Take on Magri, who had a disastrous game, and you put him on. Okay? And then I look at the defense. I look at the defense in particular. That Odono and Gonzalez, they were absolute garbage. Horrendous. Odono made a horrendous mistake for the first goal. And Gonzalez also was part of it as well. For Nigeria, man, fantastic. This is a team, like I said, guys. This is a team that's not going to create a lot of chances going forward. This is a team that's going to be very, very 
They're going to cut their games close. They're going to make each game close. And I said this before. I'm going to say this right now. And I think I said this on someone else's stream. If Nigeria is going to win this AFCON, they're going to win this one 1-0. One, 1 or 2-0. They're going to they're going to basically they're going to basically do that to win this AFCON because this defense has been amazing. Shout out to Basi. Basi was fantastic in the day. That's about the first goal, man. I believe the goal was just a lot and I think Luke Ben got the goal there and it's kind of a tricky one because I don't I feel like it's a bit harsh to disallow that goal because I think the goal was legitimate but I believe it was ruled out because it was offside if I remember correctly. Let me see what it says here in the ticker on the book mod because I actually want to see right here. So where is it? Yeah, yeah. So okay, so trust occurring is offside. I believe I believe the goal was scored in the 21st minute. Actually, let me check here. No, no, no. It was in the ninth minute, the ninth minute of the game. It was ruled out because it was offside. Um, IE was offside. IE actually scored it. Okay. And yeah, it was offside. That's why. So very, very harsh decision because for me, the goal looked legitimate, but whatever. Nigeria finally opens the score in there. Austin Men presses a center back, Gonzalez, and, you know, passes it to Lukman. And Lukman puts it in the, puts in the back of the net. You know, pass, uh, shoot, pass O'Dono. O'Dono gets a touch of it. Then it goes inside the net. And then someone tried to clear it offline. It didn't work. And it's 1-0 Nigeria. And from that point on, Nigeria kept pushing and pushing. They had so many chances. Cameroon didn't really create any chances whatsoever. They um they were not great. Magri had that chance for 38th minute. 18th minute, Magri was the only one that was creating chances. And then you can see right here, Cameroon only had two shots. And look at the amount of big chances they missed. And then Nigeria, the second half, man, they kept pushing and pushing. Osman had that fourth minute of the game, that chance there at the Aini. And then finally, Nigeria makes it 2-0. The closing stages of the game. And wrap this game up. Great, great pass there from Basi to um, Lukman. And Lukman scores to make it 2-0. Nigeria did have one big chance right there. I remember it was Awubi. Awubi should have scored that the 88th minute. And so for Nigeria, man, as I said, man, this is a team that's looking great. My criticism for Nigeria is that they just have to be better when it comes to the final third. And they have to be they have to be better. Now, I do have some big concerns. Though. Uzaho, apparent, Uzaho, I don't know. No, no, Bli might be injured, guys. No, Bli might be injured. He came off in this game in the 80th minute. So if Azal starts against Ungola, I wouldn't be surprised he makes an error because that goalkeeper is very, very, very sus. Suspicious. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini review we did. You know, a bit of a you know, a bit of a short review, eight round, eight minutes. Remember, guys, later tonight, guys, I'll be doing a full video about Javi Hernandez, about him leaving the club. I want to do a video about it, do an in-depth video. I just gonna do that tonight. So stay tuned for that in round, you know, um, three to four hours from now. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Guys, like and subscribe. Hey, let me know your guys' thoughts, comments below. And if I miss any major talking points, please let me know. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.